So, so far what we have done is we have ran our application completely on the front end, which means that the client or the user has access to pretty much all the files. So, for example, if we had an image in our browser and we wanted to detect a person in this browser, what we can do is we can ask our JavaScript to run this image and find the bounding box for the person and the JavaScript file will do that for us that so that it is using a model and that model is also accessible uh, within our directories so basically people will have the access to your code and they will know what exactly you are doing so it will be very easy to replicate because it will be very easy to access your JavaScript code and your secret recipe is basically exposed so let's say you had trained a model with 1 million images and then you had that for selling out or renting it out for people to use it but then it is exposed it's at the front end and people can simply copy and replicate it so they don't have to pay so that is the disadvantage of having it on the front end so what is the solution to this it's very simple what you do is you run all of this information at the back end instead. So how does that work? So basically what you have is a front end and then you have a separate back end. The files that you have at the back end are basically locked. So here, for example, you have the Python script. Uh, this is the server running at the back end. And then you have your model that was trained on millions of parameters and so on. So all of this is secured and users, they don't have access to this. But how can you actually run it? Uh, by the way, you might ask, why are we using Python here? And the answer is that you can pretty much use any language that you want to run the server. So uh, you can use JavaScript as well. But because Python is very popular and it's very easy to get started with, that's why we'll be using Python as well for the backend. And it is so simple and it is so easy to run. So how exactly would we run the same application with using backend? So here what will happen is that the backend is a separate module and here the front end is a separate module. So here we need to communicate between these two modules. So how can we do that? Uh, we will use that by using our JavaScript file. So the JavaScript will run the application uh, by sending the commands to the backend and the backend will send the commands to JavaScript and the JavaScript will display us the results here. So that's the basic idea of running uh, the backend. And what's the advantage of this? The advantage is that the Python script is not accessible or whatever language you are using here, these files, they are not accessible to the user. So your secret recipe is secured and it is not exposed to the end user. So you can actually monetize it. You can easily sell this out uh, as an API and people will be able to use your model and you will be able to charge them for that without exposing your secret recipe. So now that you have understood the idea of this backend, we will go ahead and actually run it and see how the backend server works and how we can communicate it using our JavaScript code.